So this is bonus video not found within the book but available here in the YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to cover vintage mole traps and this is brought to us by one of my peers by the name of Doug Valentine who operates a holy moly mole trapping business. It's located in Jackson, Michigan just west of Ann Arbor. Doug has an extensive trap collection um, and within his trap collection a pretty significant subset of uh, mole traps. Uh, so we're going to go through a number of traps found within Doug's uh, collection of traps. Doug also operates a Facebook group called Mole Trap Collectors Vintage and Present. So if you haven't uh, had an opportunity to participate in that group, uh, consider joining uh, that Facebook group to learn more about vintage mole traps. First trap that we're going to take a look at in his collection is a plunger or harpoon style. We have a large version and a small version. Uh, these were traps that were uh, developed back in the late 1800s. Uh, second, another uh, harpoon type trap. This is a Dean's Mole trap, again from the late 1800s, made out of uh, iron. Uh, very similar to a Victor style uh, plunger trap today. And again, we have a Mole Cat uh, trap, uh, plunger style trap again similar. Another type that's very very similar to the mole cap, again plunger style. This one looks like a loop trap but it's actually a plunger trial style trap. It's a Mabbitt's mole trap. It was manufactured uh, back in uh, 1892. A trap like this today might go for upwards of $500 to a collector. And we have some homemade traps, kind of interesting trap that's probably set somehow with your foot. Uh, here we have a plunger style trap. Uh, again, looks like it was crafted out of wood with some uh, metal pegs on the bottom. And again, some very interesting homemade traps um, that, that took a lot of creativity when they, they were put together uh, back in the day. We also have a newer model mole trap that follows along the plunger style trap. And this trap uh, comes out of the Netherlands. Uh, the handle's pulled in the top, which uh, sets the trap, and the trap is triggered uh, with a round trigger on the bottom. Uh, this is a Grull mole trap. It's a German-made mole trap. Um, and uh, from here, we're going to get into you know vintage uh, cast iron Nash mole trap. Nash mole trap is one of the traps that's covered within the book. This is a very early version of that. The trap trigger is a little bit narrower than what you would see in a trap today. Looking at uh, some of the snare uh, tunnel style traps. Those traps usually have more of a round design today. Uh, this one's actually got uh, almost a rectangular shaped box, but uh, the mole can be caught in either direction with a, with a trap like this. A bit of an odd barrel. Um, moving on to a paper clip style trap. This trap has, has a very similar look and feel to a trap line type trap. It's made out of uh, a wire and uh, may have been a pretty effective trap uh, during the day. From here we move on to an interesting style trap. Um, there's a number of traps out there that are uh, that are triggered by live ammo. This is a French trap that is triggered by some form of ammo and again lots of times they're referred to as trap guns so some form of cartridge is going in here and usually that cartridge drives something into the mole, which ultimately uh, kills the mole. Um, this next trap is, is a, a trap that actually uses a 12 millimeter cartridge uh, to dispatch the mole. From here, we, we kind of move on to uh, some of the scissors type traps. This is a very early version of the vintage uh, uh, Victor out of sight uh, type trap. Very, very similar to that today. The trap tends to be the trap that's preferred by the professional mole trapping community. Victor did change the style a few years ago. It's much lighter in design and has fallen out of favor a little bit with the professional community. And there's been a number of uh, upstarts or uh, other traps that have hit the market to kind of fill that void. Um, one of the first traps uh, was actually sent to myself, Doug, and a number of other uh, mole trappers uh, from a company based in Pakistan. You'll see that trap on the left side looks very, very similar to a Victor. And then that trap was 
picked up by a manufacturer here in the United States called Wildlife Control Supplies, and they had the uh, manufacturer modify the trap a little bit, which you see on the right side. Just a little bit bigger version, uh, more in line to the Victor out of sight trap, and that trap is sold and marketed today. Uh, the trap uh, does have an optional, which is kind of interesting, a little, little speed bump, a ball built into the bottom of the trap, helps the trap trigger a little bit more. And then, you know, we do have another new trap uh, design, very similar to a Telpax, uh, that is manufactured by Jordan Budinski of Bud's Trap Company. This is another very strong, uh, solid trap that falls along the lines um, of, of uh, uh, a heavier duty Telpex type trap or Victor out of sight. So I wanted to thank Doug uh, for sharing uh, his trap collection and uh, encourage everyone to consider joining his Facebook group so you can learn a little bit more about mole traps, uh, both vintage and present. To learn more about the book Modern Mole Trapping, please review the introduction video on this channel and remember to be notified of new content on this channel. Be sure to select the subscribe button.